आई रिमेम्बर सो दिस थिंग जैसे आपने शाहरुख खान की जो भी फिल्म थी जो साइन होने वाली थी नो बडी न्यू मैंने वो क्यों छोड़ी दैट टाइम सो दिस वॉज आफ्टर सीक्रेट सुपर स्टार आई वॉज गोइंग एंड आई वॉज जर्निंग थ्रू सर्टन थिंग्स मैं इवेंट्स वगैरह कर रही थी बट वॉज अ थिंग विद इन मी दैट वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली टॉकिंग मी के समथिंग इज नॉट राइट असलम How do you normally say it, bro? Sorry. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. <laughs> you are sick. <laughs> <laughs> the Quran Li app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Smile to Jannah. What should we react to? When you said that this is off the cuff bro I didn't think it's going to be that level off the cuff. <laughs> All right guys so I am joined by the main man. Some people refer to him as my twin and you know they say some people they've got a good twin and an evil twin. Yeah. I think I'm your evil twin. You are one lab accident away from becoming a super villain. So bro This is Nav. You were on the Channel 4 program bro. What was this Channel 4 program? That was like about 10 years ago. No, about a couple of years ago I was on a program called Extremely British Muslims and uh, basically it followed me and my friend Wasim had uh, what they said 5 seconds of fame that's where the term was and nav came up isn't it something like that yeah and then uh, uh, the the real part of your career which is uh, you know my look alike oh yeah how's uh, that how's that treating uh, financially it's not benefiting me in any way uh, shape or form yeah let's not Oh yeah, fantastic! Yeah, I love being your twin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, this is so embarrassing. You know. Yeah, mashallah. Oh man. what? Oh man! Like, whoa! Just you know, don't. I'm don't like mini me of you, top. bro. Yeah. Oh, bro, just don't go over the top. You know, don't go on about it. You know, yeah. I'm a humble guy. You know. I go to like halal shops and say, "Are oh, you gonna give me a discount?" Because you know, I'm from small to Jannah. That's whoa, what I do. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we're going back to the other way again. Okay. You know, you've got to show me to be like some sort of humble. You know what I'm saying? Well, are you a crook? <clears throat> All right, guys. So what we're gonna do here? Yeah? We're gonna react to a video of Zaira Wasim. Yeah, some of you probably know Zaira Wasim left the Bollywood scene. She was in a movie called Dangal with Amir Khan, one of the three Khans. Yeah, because I remember you were about to sign a movie with Shah Rukh Khan also, right? Yes, I was. And then that is the time when you said no, right? What you you said no? I don't want to do it. You know, or kisi ke saath bhi. It's not about him. It's about I'm leaving Bollywood, jo har bande ka khab hai. Mostly hamari jo generation hai. I remember so this thing that Sabne Shah Rukh Khan ki jo bhi film thi, jo sign hone wali thi. Nobody knew maine wo kyun chori that time. So this was after Secret Superstar. Um, I was going and I was journeying through certain things. My friends were getting ready to go. But there was a thing within me. that was constantly bugging me ke something is not right i am a muslim and if this thing is bugging me why is it bugging me what is the problem what is the what is wrong that i'm doing so i thought about it and i said i tr- my heart knows that there is a creator my heart sincerely believes that there is only one god if you do love someone you would obviously want to know what that person wants and similarly i thought that if allah taala has created me why is it that he has created me it cannot be ki allah taala ne aapko fazool mein duniya mein bhej diya it it cannot be there is a reason for it yeah it cannot be his he, he cannot send you on this earth to not do anything and just chill and eat and you know deny the reality so i thought about it i sat and i thought about it ki acha kuch to hai acha theek hai problem hai Now I want to search for knowledge. So she left the whole music industry. Okay, mashallah. Yeah. She was offered a role by the Shah Rukh Khan, King Khan, SRK. Say what? To see Jari or to see Najo, SRK. Woohoo! Who's the most popular? Is he like the Brad Pitt of Bollywood? Pretty much. Yo. So for somebody to say no to him, yeah. Like that's a big thing. What are your first impressions of knowing how the world is at the moment? Very oh, once you get the money, once you get the fame, you've made it now. Here is somebody yeah. that has got that, but then she left it. Like what was she doing? You genuinely see that the love that somebody has for Islam, that they sacrifice what, like you know, this is her. <laughs> 
this is a bread and butter as well, isn't it? This is how she earns a living. Yeah. And this is an income. And a lot of people from, you know, India and Pakistan, you know, a lot of us don't come from rich families, etc. So, you know, getting that final financial independence from doing a, a career like this and the money that will bring and, you know, the lifestyle changes, etc. And then to turn your back on it completely for the sake of your religion, it's very amicable. I think it's... A, it's fantastic what the sister's done. Especially, you know, when you're in the public limelight, bro. Leaving that and going back into a private life. So I can imagine that she's like moved away from social media and things like yeah, that. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's a massive, it's like a complete change of life, a complete like change of culture, like everything. So. Some celebrities, when they leave that lifestyle, they need a coach, like a therapist that helps them transition from that life to the other life. Yeah, I can imagine. But for her... To do that, to leave money, bro, she'd even get practicing people coming and saying, yo, you're doing good work and you're, oh, that's amazing. I've seen your movie and this and that. Yeah. So to go even past that, because even bro, wh why were you told to get good grades at school? So you can get a good job and, you know, have a successful career and do so X, Y, and So good Z. job. Yeah. Why, why do you need a good job to get what? The Rokra. The Rupees. The Mal. The Wonga. The Taka. The Mapangali brothers. Okay. So money is obviously a big motivation for people to do whatever they're doing. From a small age, it's been indoctrinated yeah. into us. That's why we're going into school. That's the whole reason for our education. It's not to become a good person. It's so we can get a job and survive. <laughs> and uh, understanding from what you said, the sister was at the peak of her career. And I can only make the word that she's as successful uh, in, in terms of deen and akhira at the same as she was uh, with the dunya uh, perspective, inshallah. And you know what? We, I, I also pray that Allah gives us similar love. Because you know when you love somebody? Yeah. Yeah. Like I know, you know, you have that I love, love. you, bro. You know what I'm no saying? No need to say it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, like that. I mean, it's just like at that level. That I don't think the people can I'm understand. struggling to control like you know my love for you right now bro. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm I saying you. I love you too much like it's bro. it's too much yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know what some people do in relationships bro they, they are willing to go to another country yeah. just for their beloved sack you know going from their home yeah. to a totally different way of life yeah they're willing to sacrifice their jobs yeah yeah they're willing to sacrifice their comfortable nature just because they love this individual and obviously we know that true love the love that actually gives back is Allah because yeah. any other love that you have whether it's parents children or husband or wife they're going to die they're going to eventually burn out it's eternal love I think that's the word you're looking for that's right and that's not like a cheesy Bollywood song <laughs> that's yeah. right yeah. we fall in love with temporary things and wonder why you know a happiness doesn't last mm. and when somebody sacrifices you know everything that they've got in this world and everything that they've worked and set out to achieve and that once they've even achieved that and then just to turn a complete blind eye to it and go and focus on your deen and learning your religion and you know completely moving away from social media as such the, the thing is that we all have that gap or void within us yeah. yeah that only Allah and his religion can fill why because Allah's created us like that yeah the the problem comes when we have that void but we've distanced ourselves from our creator of course yeah with excuses like the problem of evil or oh, there's too many religions or oh, there's too many sects or whatever the excuse may be yeah but when it comes to everything and anything else, oh, we'll spend ages trying to find the right shampoo, the right the pair of trainers. We get loads of options. But when it comes to the religion, no, 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 I can't, I can't make that effort. Yeah, but that void when you start filling it with money, with fame, with other things, it's just like a car with the wrong type of petrol. It might last a couple of minutes or push start or whatnot, but on the motorway, you're finished. And that's the thing with practicing people. You may not have big bank accounts and, you know, big buildings, but you're able to sleep in peace. Of course. And you'd rather be not famous in this world and be famous amongst the angels and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's right. See, you dropped that lyric there. You know. you know what I'm saying? Chika chika, all of that. Yeah. Where's the, where's the light? Drop some bars, bro. Drop some bars. Why is there a siren on? Because it makes us look cool and like ruffians. No, come out. They're not ready for this. Uh. Rough around the edges, I don't speak the most eloquent. Inner mm. city kid, my lifestyle wasn't elegant. Okay. So many people try so hard to be relevant. Knowing mm. when to speak is a sign of intelligence. Mm. I worship the Lord of all atoms, all elements. My role model's born in the year of the elephant. I'm Muslim. Ooh. I say proud, no hesitance. Some of us have lost a backbone in our skeleton. Mm. Spineless. 
I'll share some home truths for those who don't know. Those Khadijas tend to Kads and Mohammeds tend to Mo's. They oh. make fun of their bros that wear kameez and thobes. Mm. They put their own sisters off of wearing modest clothes and he won't slip up. They're the first to expose. Got an excuse mm. for yourself, but no excuse for your bro or your sister. That's sis. right. Simple times I reminisce. I remember chipping in for a donut meat and chips. Nice. These days you can't eat your food before Instagram pics. Try to validate our life with all these likes and these hits. Mm. Need that dopamine hit. We are dicks, need our fix. And it's mad how the whole world's at our fingertip. But we can't relate to others on a personal level. Social media has got us thinking we're special. Petty differences that we can't seem to settle. These days, your own bro will sting you like a nettle. Where I'm from, there's no flowers or rose petals. Kids are killing each other with pieces of metal. Brothers are weighed down by the dust in their vessel. <laughs> will they take him a cry without no bass and no treble? Everybody's trying to be the next Frank Lucas. We've got names like Isa, but be moving like Judas. Yo! Woohoo!